I've also kind of done a YouTube video. Thought I'd bring the old slogan back, so let's get straight with that. But um, again, like I said, every single day I'm gonna be doing this for you guys, going through the comments. I've literally everyone who always comments because I really do appreciate you guys who always helping the channel and helping YouTube the, uh, the algorithm pick up the video and pass it to more people. It is amazing and it really makes me really happy. So thank you for you guys who comment and like the video. Um, thank you for watching as well, but this obviously helps out so, so much. In this video, you guys are going to learn what's going to happen short term, long term for Bitcoin. What we can see, any price ranges we can actually start to look at, see where you can find the most support and resistance. If we can fall lower, if we can go higher, if we can go higher, what it means. Basically, basically, we, what, what you're going to learn is where we actually are going to go with the most typical and realistic trend analysis without any um, moon boy analysis, things like that. But yeah, Virgilio Clement, he joined our Patreon um, two days ago. And he's, he's enjoying it. He's enjoying taking advantage of all the videos, all the content in there. As you can see, if I go to, if I go to the content for you guys, you guys can see what's there. I was actually doing analysis at like 1 a.m. yesterday for everyone. So you can see here. So Clement, like, that's pretty cool. And yeah, so it, it is brilliant. But Clement, you joined there. I don't know what's happened here. Another another one. But um, but yeah. So there's everything here for you guys. Like, there's lots of different trading things. Um, so yeah, video videos, video analysis. There's a, there's a lot for everyone to start learning and start adopting into crypto. Christopher Weedy, mate, thank you. Can't fail you. You're always um, supporting the channel, commenting, showing your love for the channel and, and what you're learning and things like that. So thank you so much for that, mate. But what can we see now for Bitcoin? Well, we can see that we've actually broken out of this um, ascend, like ascending um, triangle. I think it's more like an ascending triangle, as you can see. Um, obviously not this part here, but like more to like this part here. Typically that does break the upside, as we are all aware. But... Like I said, we had a major, major, major resistance above us. We did enter a short here, if you guys can remember yesterday. I think it was about around here or around, no, I think it was around here actually, it was around here. And it, 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 was, it, was, it was horrendous, guys. Like, we got into the trade, straight into profit, and then, like, these big random wicks would just take us out. And then we got in again um, around here, went straight into profit, dipped down, broke the EMA, and randomly just got a random liquidation wick come in. And obviously, we started falling in, and like, so it shows that analysis is there. The analysis works perfectly fine. We just need to start using wider stops now because this this market currently is way too volatile with everything that's going on in the actual market. It, it, like legit, like it's really really bad because um, these are trades that would typically like hit take profit almost instantly. So it is a bit of a strange one to actually start working with. But um, you have to work around the chart to see what it gives you. Like we can actually draw this. It seems like the most reasonable one to actually play with. Because you can see, like you can see, we actually still are trading within most of the ranges, apart from like a few wicks or the fake out which I hear. So this could have been the best one to actually draw. But as at the time when you when you're trading, you start to draw things like this, and then when you actually start to see a breakout form like this, and then a retest, and then you get in on the trade here and you fall down, you think it's brilliant because that's like that's like a textbook trade, right? Because like you come out, you retest, you get in the trade here, tight stop loss. And then you drop, but then we're like, whoa, major profit. We're in about 1.2% profit there. And then bang, stopped out. So the thing that, things like that just happened, guys, the EMAs are looking to cross here. Could you fall below this 50 EMA on the very, very short term, the immediate short term, we should be saying? Um, you can actually expect us to actually start falling towards, like I can show you, it is, like there's, if you zoom out, there's, no, there's not much support anywhere, apart from maybe, maybe at 42K. Uh, we do know there's always strong support at 42k, but mainly there's support at 41k and 40k. Like we can see that, we can grasp that very easily. So this is what I was actually obviously looking at yesterday: double top, end pattern formation actually forming like over here, and then take us to the downside. And obviously this breaking out as a double top pattern coming down and start falling further. But obviously in this market you can't predict things like this anymore. Like typically that this is what you would be looking for to trade. So obviously that is one scenario, guys. Another scenario I'll, I'll work through, which is the bullish scenario, okay? But I'll work through this one first. And you can see that this is, typical, this is typical. Like If you're not looking at this as a trader, then you shouldn't be trading because this is a potential bias to take us really, really low. But with Ukraine and everything going on, like uh, um, other circumstances actually start pushing us to the upside or the, or the downside. So have to be very, very careful with these actual remarks and what's actually going on. So I'm trying to find the best point for support right here. And I found it in my opinion, and it's just above all this cluster. So if you put it right here at the bottom of this, and as you can see, it goes to the top of most things. Um, so if we put it here, you can either keep it really low here to show that if you do break this cluster right here, you can actually start falling, as you can see, falling, falling, falling. But the main point you can do is put it here, 
to start around here. And I'm doing that because you can see, that if I show you very, very clearly, okay, if I zoom in as much as I can for you guys, um, let's, let's start over here. So as you can see, you want the your kind of choppiness to be inside this resistance because as you're inside, you know that, okay, we do have a potential to start trading within this zone, okay, like we have here, like we have here. If we don't, then you get rejected from it. So you, so you touch it, you bounce off it as support. See what I mean here? You touch it, you bounce off it as support. You touch it, you bounce off it as support. You touch it, you bounce off it as support. If you don't and you fail, then you fall a lot. Then you, then you like, obviously you fall a lot. So that's why you have that's that's why I've got it set like this, so that we can either see in, in the next coming hours or days if we do actually start getting to those regions that we will start falling from here, start finding that support and bounce back up, or will we start trading within and lose that support and start falling downwards? Because as we can see, the 50 EMA is actually right at the bottom of it. So if we do break this, we will be falling quite a lot, quite a distance. And where, where would we actually be caught? So right now it's actually quite a nice time to trade the four night shorts because you can always target, oops, you can start to target these EMAs as your take profits, you see. So that's the good thing about them. Um, typically they will be lower and you can just target them and it's very nice to actually like take, take profit off them. But um, yeah, that's what you want to actually be starting to be looking for. Um, if we go to the weekly time frame, we can't really see too much. Um, other than what we saw and analyzed yesterday. So of course this head and shoulders pattern is still in play. You can see that we, we literally have just retested the um, neckline and we're coming back down now. Um, the EMAs haven't crossed on the weekly time frame. If we do fall slightly lower, I do believe that they will start crossing. They did start to cross last week, if you guys remember me, me covering that. However, we did actually have this major pump, which obviously started to separate that as a, as a massive um, rejection away from it, each other. But yeah, um, for the bullish side, guys, I do believe that we can actually start flipping bullish. If we do get a close above $45,500 for, for Bitcoin, this will actually send the EMAs to support us a lot. So start setting up upwards. And then we can actually start to see a push along 50 to 52K. I do think this will actually start to potentially be the top of where we'll actually see our short term bounce. Okay, and I'm saying that because you can see here, this shoulder isn't actually formed that well. And you can, you can see it much clearer if we go into the four hourly time frame. And I zoom out so much for you guys. Okay, what's happened? There we go. You can see it hasn't really formed that well. It's basically formed as the head. Okay, so typically you want to see like a big dip and then it form like this. Okay, so technically this could form this actual structure itself. And I do mean that. So this is the left shoulder you can see. Okay, let me draw out for you and make it a bit better to visualize. Left shoulder came down, up down this technically wasn't where it was okay so if we if we redraw that you can see here here come down and now we need to draw that right shoulder okay and nothing plays out perfectly in the market so this wouldn't exactly be the same size it can be this can be a still still situation that i'm saying that we are retesting it just to come down however we could form a bigger right shoulder and that right shoulder could actually see a push that's all the way up to the same level 50k and if that does happen, we could see a major. Obviously, that looks like a really nice head and shoulders. And yes, we broke the neckline. So this would be this would be a very dodgy, dodgy head and shoulders pattern. But nothing is actually perfect in the market, okay? So this would actually send us a lot lower. But for the short term, this would actually be really, really bullish, okay? And obviously, if you guys are looking for even more bullish remarks, then if we get above 52K, our next resistance is at 56K. If we get above that, we have to get above 60K to start pushing to the new all-time high. As you can see here, that's where the resistance cluster is. This is where obviously the bottom of the support is. So this will be a resistance very strong. You can see here, very, very strong resistance. And obviously here is where both of the tops for the shoulders were. So very, very strong resistance there. That's why we got our buy signals on each of these points. If we do hit them for dollar cost average points, we will have one above here. So if we do get above this region, we can set a buy limit to target all of these points right here. So what you do is you buy here, you sell here, buy here, sell here, buy here, sell here. They're the best dollar cost average positions in the market because that's where the most resistance and the most support is. So if we do get above them, it's most likely to see a push to the upper side. So that's what we're looking for for that. If we go to a 50 minute time, can we see anything showing us there's gonna, there's gonna be a potential switch right now to enter a trade or anything particular? We can see here, like for me to enter a trade right now, what I'd be looking for is something similar to this. So I'd start to extend this all around here and put this upwards a bit. And I actually want us to start, like, like I'd start doing this, look. 
So I target all the highs to see if we actually could start to see a push upwards, and we can't. So I wait for a test like, like we're currently doing, but I want to see a rejection of this point. So I wait for us to actually touch this red EMA, and I want to see a rejection, okay? So like a big candle rejection, so maybe come up and then close below here. And I'd enter here, stop loss here, and I'd target potentially down here. That's what I'd look for. Like, typically, I would actually enter the trade right here um, on, a, on a high as we're retesting it and be a bit risk on. But with how the markets are, there's no, it's, it's ridiculous to actually be able to do that. So I would actually typically just do this and actually like cover it above here and then start to target down here. To make sure reward to risk to reward ratio even better, you can even target up here and get a 2%, which is fabulous. But um, it's, it's not worth it, guys, with the current risk that's going on. The 1% is still 1% to risk. But yeah, if you, guys, if you guys did enjoy the video, please smash that like button because I do show your um, your comments and things every video. So make sure you comment and I do reply to every single one. So a big thank you to you guys actually doing that. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much, guys. Peace.